Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is RDF from FM Scout and in this video we have another Wonder Kid to Superstar. If you have missed any of the previous episodes of this, I currently have one Andrea Papati and Jake. He's done two awesome Wonder Kid to Superstar videos and I think that you should check them out. The link to those videos will be in the description and the Wonder Kid for this video will be Caio George. He currently plays for Santos in Brazil. I signed him for around 12.5 million. I think you can actually get him for cheaper. All I did was offer 5 mil upfront and then installments I'm paying 7.5 million. But I think you can actually get cheaper because they accepted that offer literally straight away. But before we get started, if you are new or you haven't yet, and if you like our content, then hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps us. And if you help us, then of course, the more people we can also help. So in this video, we will be developing Caio George. He is an 18 years old striker from Brazil. He currently plays for Santos. But if you look at his attributes, he looks like a very good striker from the start of the game also you can see he's got good determination so this could come in handy when it comes to his development and he also has decent work rate alongside natural fitness these are all bonuses when it comes to developing i believe anyway this is only my opinion but i feel determination work rate and natural fitness are all bonuses when it comes to developing a youngster of course the main focus i think you should go for when developing is game time if that player isn't too young so for like kyle george he is 18 so around 20 to 30 games in the season that should be fine when it comes to developing he also has to have good potential and you can see his potential ability at the moment for leon is four and a half stars so what we're going to do we're going to shift him into the senior squad because he's on a breakthrough prospect so automatically he went to the second team and the way we're going to do this we are going to sim five years after three years i will show you his development and some goals because he's a striker i am expecting him to score goals and and then after five years we will show his development again and then we will see his career stats like his goals and the awards and all of that good stuff so strictly for the purpose of this video we are going to be using a tactic from nap it is called holy ghost fire it is a 4312 the link for this tactic if you want to use it will be in the description but it's a 4312 and to make things less complicated it also has no player instructions so we are just going to be using the team instructions of course and we're just going to shift kyle george into the striking position and we're going to sim five years ahead also for the training we are going to experiment a little in this video so for the individual position role and duty training we are actually going to ask the assistant and what he thinks Kyle judge should be training so how we do this is simply just ask assistant to set the individual training and i'm going to set that look for Kyle george and as we can see he has given him the pressing forward attack role position duty and because i want his decisions and his composure to increase i'm simply just going to add final third and this is how we are going to try and develop Kyle george as you can see he's got good finishing he's not too bad in the air he's got good off the ball and teamwork attributes his concentration is good his composure is good his bravery is good we are expecting big things from Kyle George what I am anyway he was one of my favorites in Football Manager 2020 I didn't really see a video on him so hopefully this video can do him some justice and just a little disclaimer this video was recorded during the beta release so now we have everything out of the way we are going to sim three years into the future and we're going to see how he turned out after three years so here we are after three years leon finished second which is probably what we are expecting anyway musa dembele was the top goal scorer not kyle george but if we look at kyle george oh he needs a rest and now if we look at his attributes you can see that he is developing because he is 21 years of age we didn't actually get to see his media description to see he if he was a wonder kid so what we're going to do is actually go back to season two and then we're going to see if he did get that wonder kid status and yes we went back a season and as you can see his media description right now is on wonder kid which suits perfect for this video because we are trying to turn a wonder kid in to a superstar but here we are back at the third season and what we're going to do now is check his development and it's clear to see that he has improved a lot his anticipation has gone up his composure has gone up his decision making has definitely gone up because that was on 10 also his finishing his heading and his technique has also risen so now he's looking a very dangerous player you can see that his role duty his recommended one has changed but he is very capable of playing multiple different roles according to my assistant manager he thinks that Kyle George is equally as good at 
all the roles being a striker which is a very very good option for Kyle George he can be used as many different things you will notice that his potential ability has now dropped down to four star but that is something we are not too worried about now we are going to check his goals because this season he had a very good season scoring 21 in 29 league games but we are going to check his first season. In his first season, he scored 22 goals in all competitions in 39 games. That is a very good goal scoring record. And in the holy whack a moly. Guys, yes, he scored 58 goals in 50 appearances. That is absolutely mental. So remember, guys, this is a beta series and we are using a nap tactic. So of course the later releases things may change maybe not so keep that in mind but Kyle George is a wonderful goal scorer especially in the beta mode he scored 21 in 37 league games then he's got I can't believe this he scored 58 goals in his second season at Leon. in his first season he also got 13 assists so he looks like so he looks a decent creative player also and in his third season he scored 30 goals in 39 appearances which is not bad at all currently he's played 102 times in the league for Leon and he scored 85 goals with 20 assists those are numbers that Ronaldo real Ronaldo I'm talking about R9 and that is something that Ronaldo would be proud of he is also valued at 50 million so <laughs> we can definitely see why but now we are going to move into the fifth season and then we're going to see how he looks after five years so here we are after the five seasons and again we have finished second but again Kyle George has scored over 50 goals. This guy is absolutely incredible. With an average rating of 7.35, he's the highest average rated player in the team. And now when we look at his attributes, you can see why he's scoring so many goals. His anticipation again has increased. His composure has increased. His decisions is very good. And his off the ball movement has also increased. His heading is now on 15. He's got decent long shots. He's got good technique, which is on 15. He's good at finishing. He's got a good first touch. Literally, this guy is everything you want from a striker. He's currently got a three and a half star ability, which I feel that he's just has to have more he has to for a striker that is scoring 53 goals in one season is incredible in 49 games he is now age 23 so he's around that time he is kind of peaking his development and wow what a striker he is what a striker in his fourth season he managed to score 26 goals and then in his fifth season he scored 34 just in the league so in 172 games for Leon, he scored 145 goals with a 34 assist record and an average rating of 7.15 those numbers are absolutely incredible and when we check his milestones he's only managed to win the league once but he's also won the champions league Leon did win the Champions League in 2022. If we look at his awards straight away in 2002, he's won the European Golden Shoe Award. And in 2022, he also won the European Golden Boy, which is one of the elite awards for the youngsters. It's probably the most elite apart from the Ballon d'Or. And you can see here, Kyle George, he's won it three times in a row. So he's a three time Golden Boy Award winner and he won it three times in a row. That is fantastic. Kyle George is his name, everybody. He is an awesome striker. His pace is probably the only attribute that lets him down. But considering he's only got really one bad attribute, I would say, for a striker, that is very impressive. And to think that we only signed him for 12.5 million, he is an absolute bargain. And this is probably someone that you could sell on for a huge, huge amount of profits. And when we look at his overall attribute changes, you can see that he has a major improvement in his technical and his mental abilities. In his physical, he only has a slight overall improvement, but his physical attributes were good from the very start. Anyway, his biggest increase was in his decision making, but he also had a good increase in his anticipation, in his leadership also, his off the ball, his technique, his head and long shots, and of course his shooting, which only increased by one. But as a striker, if you are increasing your shooting, you have always got a chance. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and witnessing this awesome striker named Kyle George. He is fantastic. He is fantastic. I highly recommend this striker. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And also in the comments, you can give us some recommendations of which player you would like to see next. It has been RDF. It has been a pleasure. Peace out.